Hi, I'm Phil Yao, and this is a French horn. And before we get to playing our French horn, there are certain things that you're going to need to learn. All right, so you have a French horn. At least you hope there's a French horn in here. So before you get to play it, you have to learn how to take care of your horn and make sure that you don't damage it and uh, keep it in good condition. So when we get our French horn, we're gonna set it down. We're not gonna set it on a table and we're not gonna set it on a chair. We're gonna set it on the floor. You're gonna make sure that the large part, the bell, is to your left. And you're gonna set it down and then you're gonna tilt, tilt it like that. And then you're gonna undo the, the buckles there and open up the case. And there's your French horn. Now when you take out the French horn, you can just pull it out like this, gently. And then you'll take out the mouthpiece, which is here, and you'll put the mouthpiece into the mouth pipe like that. Now, you'll notice I didn't smack it or wrench it in. I'm just gonna put it in gently and just give it a slight little turn. And that should keep your mouthpiece in. So here is your French horn. You're gonna set it in your lap so that the bell is to your right. Now, depending on how tall you are, you may need to put it on the chair like this, or ideally, you would put it on your leg like this. And you'll hold the valves over here with your left hand. You'll put your left hand in the bell if you're bigger, and you'll put your right hand in the bell here now, if you're bigger, you'll want it to be on the side that's farther away from you. If your arms and your body don't allow it, you can just hold it like this. But ideally, it would be here. And you're gonna pull the horn up to your face like this. Now, in order to make a sound on the French horn, you're gonna need to buzz your lips. Like that. Then you're gonna buzz into the mouthpiece. piece in again a little turn and that should get you a sound into the horn and that's how you make a sound on the French horn so you'll notice after you've played the horn for a while you'll get a crackling sound it sounds like firecrackers almost going off inside your horn that's condensation or water that's accumulated in your horn now there are several places where the water will accumulate and it doesn't always happen in the same place every time. So I'm gonna tell you several of the places that you'll be able to get the water out. The easiest one is to take out your mouthpiece. And now you're gonna turn the horn towards the mouthpiece side. And maybe water will come out of this tube here. If water doesn't come out there, then there's one main tube on the back side of the horn. That's over here. And you'll pull that tube out like that and then turn the horn to the bell side. Now, on, on um, other occasions, you may need to pull out these slides to get the water out. And the water will come out through these slides. But that's always the last step. There's also another way where if it sounds like you, you've done your best to get the water out of all the other places and you still have water in it, you might just need to turn the horn to the, to the bell side or like you're turning the car to the right three times and sometimes water will come out of the bell. And that's how you get water out of the horn. So in order for your valves to work smoothly and quietly, you'll need to lubricate your valves. There are a couple of places that you'll need to lubricate your valves, but first you'll need to get some oil. Now you can get any type of oil that's made for brass instruments. Ideally, you would get something for rotor uh, valves, rotor valve oil. But if you have a trumpet player in the family as well, you can use the same oil that the trumpet player uses. Now you're gonna twist off the cap on each of these spots on the horn, and you can do it one at a time. 
then twist off the cap and you're just going to put two or three drops right in the center and then you'll just put the cap back on and push down on the valve to make sure the oil gets distributed and that will be the main place that you'll put oil on other occasions you might just put a single drop on these springs here right on top by the keys just a single drop and that's how you would put oil on your horn all right so now that we've practiced for hours on end and made beautiful music we're going to put our horn away so this is just the reverse of what we did in order to take the horn out we're going to take the mouthpiece out and put it where it belongs in the case and we're going to gently put the horn in the case like this. We're not going to press on it. We're just going to set it down and close the lid to the buckles and you're off. And there is the French horn.